So at the moment, I'm walking down one of the prettiest streets in Chelsea. And lucky enough, we've got a project just up there. So the boys have been on there now since sort of January. Um, there's been lots of changes, lots more stripping out. Now we've taken up the whole ground floor, we've leveled it, we've put new flooring down. So these things take time. And that's the thing about construction. You can never plan ahead too far because there's always things going to change. But let's go in and take a look. Right, since, since our last video, the client has decided to strip out all the ground floor. So we've taken all the old flooring up, all the old subflooring, all the joists have been leveled, and then we put this new plywood down. And then on top of this, we're gonna have wet underfloor heating, we're gonna screed it, and then we've got some 20 mil uh, oak flooring going down. The boys over here, we're just literally rearranging the media wall because now we, we've blocked in the uh, light well. We've got more space to put some furniture and it's gonna be in line with the TV in the middle. So that's all gonna be changed. We can go. Well, since the last time, uh, again, you were here, the new ceiling has gone back in. First fix electrical is completed. And now look at all this rubbish, which has come down from the walk-in wardrobe upstairs. Another load. In total, we've had over 20 tons of rubbish come out of this building. It cost a fortune. So this is gonna be the sort of gym, cinema room, stroke, chill out room. We've got all new joinery going here, mirrored. The client has got his personal trainer coming around to see what machines and exercise equipment we can get in here. Big old TV there. Again, new security door down here. This is gonna be a fantastic room to exercise, to watch TV and to chill out. So we just bumped into uh, Amin, the superstar of our Chelsea project. And um, we just, before we went on camera, we talking about people sleeping on site during their lunch break. Now, I'm not going to make a comment. I just think I it's not with you. acceptable. <laughs> Maybe if you guys out there are, particularly you're fasting at the time, and it's Eid, isn't it? Yeah, tomorrow. So it's Eid, more yeah. acceptable to sort of sleep during the day if you're if you're fasting because you're tired yeah just look at but not on a fucking construction site and do you know where he was come on he's sleeping on next door's terrace well but bear in mind this is everyone gonna fucking see this i don't care <laughs> but it's, it's, this is what happens isn't it? this is live so personally i don't think it's acceptable you say it's acceptable did not on the neighbour property, no, not at all. I've, I've, in, in 15 years, I've never had a, 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 a labourers or professionals laying on the floor asleep. Definitely, I'll get the concentration site. this matter and have a word. Otherwise, with I'm place. going to call the construction police, and you're going to be banged up. <laughs> How would you feel about that? Never seeing your family again. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Cool. So, anyway, what's been happening this morning? I know you've been on our job in yeah, I've Soho. Been, I've been in Soho, yeah. And I've been over there this morning. Yeah. It took an hour just to get over there. It's a bloody nightmare. It is a nightmare. Driving 20 miles an hour, lots of the traffic lights involved, yeah. you know. That's Trouble totally is, it, it's, it's, it's only a small job. We've it done it indeed. as a favour because I originally took it on a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, it is a 1,200 square foot apartment, duplex. Quite a nice client, very nice It's a lovely person. client. Yeah. But for us, it's just like... 
It was a bit, been a bit of a hassle, wasn't it? It is indeed, yeah. It's pulled you off of this job, and even though there's not much going on here at the moment because we're waiting for the... I CP mentioned Hearts, them, CP Hearts. Hearts in Chelsea. They are a sanitary wear company. We placed the order. They've delivered all the sanitary wear and yep. all the mechanics behind it, all the, all, all the um, what do they call it, gaskets? Cartridge. Cartridges are all wrong. So they've all Mixing had to go well back. Mixing cartridges, yeah, that's wrong. They've all wrong. had to go back. So Basically, we don't have any water whatsoever in our site. Ideally, by regulation, we should have a water here. Which we don't have, we have to turn off the water from... Well, again... Let everyone know, let building control know, we don't have any water here at the moment, Hello. but it's going to be ready. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to get the water back on them. Next, next week. Next week, yeah. But, um, yeah, Soho job, we're just snagging this morning. The, basically, it's a concrete shell apartment. Yeah. Meaning that all the new electric cables have got to be bolted onto... On the conduit, metal the conduit. The exterior yeah. of the walls. Now... The client wanted this to happen, but in reality, now we've got like um, railway tracks around everywhere. everywhere yeah. And f for being such a small flat, having white walls with black metal piping Can't everywhere, it. just too much, mate, isn't it? Well, to be honest, at the start I didn't like it, but now I like it. Because you yeah. did it, you don't want to do it again. <laughs> I've said to the client, just live in there for a while. Yeah. And then when we come back to do downstairs, the, the, the lower ground flat, we'll do everything again. But it's just really bad. And listen, we, we, we wanted to sink it into the walls, but you can't do because it's solid concrete. And the building, there's about 300 flats in this development. Yeah, building after the Second World War. When you get your gun and you're gunning into the wall, it vibrates Chiseling. everywhere. We've had about three, four, five complaints a day. Yeah. So it hasn't been ideal, mate, has it? Yeah. Stressful. But now I think we are going to have to go back to that idea once the client sort of lives in there for a minute and I believe out. in August they're going to America. Mm. And also on the June, mm. within a few months, time they're going to get married. Mm. So we have to prepare ourselves for the, his wedding. What, are you going? Yeah, I said to him. I said, I have to invite that's fantastic. Well so done, mate. So, he said, okay. Best man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, this week, it is Thursday today. Thursday, Thursday. What, the, I see downstairs the boys are redoing the TV wall again in the living room. This is the third time. That's the third time. I'm we need there. the water back on. We need the plumbing. We need to finish off the bathrooms. Yeah. It's frustrating. Now, 100%. Osman, the architect, yep. he is working on the new drawings for the stairs coming up onto the uh, terrace. Sure. He's working with the glazing company. Once that all gets approved, then you can crack on here as well, can't you? Yeah, sure. Just I need to get the dimension. I have to prepare here. Demolish everything, prepare mm -hmm. it, make it structure solid for the handle the weight of the staircase, yeah. glass, boxing, RSJs, everything. Yeah. And also, it has to be by the design going to look yeah. neat and stunning. Yeah. So when we hand it to customer, everything has to be perfect yeah. and professional. So basically here, we the glass box got rejected by the council. Now we've got another option where it's going to be like a mini kind of glass box. Yeah. And half of it is going to be fixed and half of it is going to be motorised. Yep. So we because it's coming up another what, half a metre or something, three steps? Probably... We're three. talking about seven, eight hundred. So we need to create another maybe three steps up, three steps down. Hundred percent, yeah. Um, but that's up off hill, downhill. That's the only option. Yep. And then once we know where we are, we can then work on, Crack on the building yep. this up, th Decking. this subfloor up. The glazing company want to come in and do the skylights. I said, speak to you. They have to wait till we done. So we've know, got heat probably to probably increase the height. Yeah. And we're going to do decking after decking, waterproof. Yeah. After waterproof, we're going to put Detramax. Yeah. So many layers going on top of yeah. that. And then tiles on the end. So, and also, we have to give it a slope for the water. Mm. New drainage, you know, the mm. new water right. pipe. So what else? You, oh, you, you're, you're taking your truck in to be repaired, aren't you? Yeah. That's tomorrow, someone's someone's yeah. one at the back of you. Yeah. So you're not in tomorrow? I am. What My truck is not in. Ah, okay. <laughs> what time are you taking your truck in? 
No, my missus, she can handle it, everything. She will sign behalf of me. Yeah. Because Friday she's off, so she can uh, do whatever she wants. And um, you're bringing the smart car back on Sunday? Probably weekend, yeah. Saturday yeah. or Sunday, yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's go back downstairs then. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Right, this is our family bathroom. As far as you see, this is the, our drawing. We amended it because of the, our system's height was quite higher than what is on the specification. So we had to change our system. And we gone for lower one, which is 82 centimeters. And for that reason, we gone for back-to-wall toilet system. So as far as you see here, I don't know is that, are you able to see it? You have enough brightness here. This is our system. We bring it down. Used to be here. It was quite high. And that wasn't according with the Camelas, which is our internal designer specification. So we brought it down, we changed the system, and normal toilet changed to back wall system. So toilet will hang on the wall, which will give us enough space for mirror, and we're gonna have a LED strip on the ceiling. So when we look at this side, this is our mixing well cartridge. And I'm afraid CP Heart, our supplier, they send us wrong mixing well cartridge. And for that reason, we take it out. And I'm afraid in whole our side, we don't have a water because of that reason. I send few occasion email to them, no response whatsoever regarding when they're gonna deliver for us new cartridges. And bear in mind, yesterday we had a delivery and also they had a collection as well. Again, there was something mistaken on that matter as well. So yeah, that's it. You see we done the tank in here, so make it waterproof. If you see here, this is our niche, okay? Used to this niche was here, but as my recommendation and Camilla, she was angry with it. So shower came to this side niche here. So while you're putting your shampoos, all the stuff here, they don't, doesn't get wet. So it's quite nice and neat. And that's it, this is our family bathroom. Hopefully we're we'll ready next week guys so Baba can we pop in next week everything gonna be looks neat and nice and that's it